Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create separate login and registration page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the separate page for the login and the registration, first of all, we're going to go inside our store. Alright, so I need to open this in incognito mode since I'm already logged in here. So let's just copy this and let's just click here. Let's just paste the value. Alright, so now we have to click on my account. And you will be able to see that we are having the login and the registration on a single page. Okay. So how to separate them? It's really easy. We just have to hide the registration form from here. And after that, we have to create a separate registration form. So in this way, we're going to have the login and the registration form on the separate pages. Okay. So let's go back. Now let's just click on the dashboard. Now the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the WooCommerce and click on settings. And now you have to go inside accounts and privacy. All right. So here you have to uncheck allow customers to create an account on my page. Okay. So let's just uncheck this. And now we need to save the changes. So let's click on save changes. Now, if you go back to our my account page in incognito mode, so let's just refresh this. Now you will only be able to see the login form here. Okay. So that is how we can create the separate login page. And now it's the time to create the registration page. Okay, so let's go back into the dashboard. And here we have to install the plugin first. So let's click on add new plugin. And here you have to write down simple registration for WooCommerce. So we have to install this. Now let's click on activate. Alright, so now what you need to do, you have to go inside the settings and you can see the option of the simple registration so let's click on it all right so here you can see that we only have the option to select the display rules and now what i need to do i need to go inside the install plugins again and now we have to search for simple registration for woocommerce okay so there it is and now let's click on view details all right so now let's click on installation so now as you can see that we have the short code here so we have to copy the short code from here. So let's just copy this. And now we have to click on close. And now we have to go inside the pages and click on add new page. Alright, so here I'm going to write down the name of the page. So that would be registration. And now I would like to edit this with Elementor. So let's click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so here what I need to do, I have to search for short code here so let's click on this and now we have the short code and now we have to paste the value of our short code for the registration okay so i have to add the square brackets here all right so as you can see here that we have added our registration page so now i have to click on publish and i have to click on have a look since i'm already logged in so that is why it is showing that we have to log out first. Okay, so let's copy this. I don't want to log out right now. So I'm going to simply open up another browser here. And let's just paste the URL here. And now you will be able to see the registration form here. So this is our registration page. And if I just click on my account, you will be able to see our login page here. All right, so this is how we can create separate registration and login page for WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.